a dream will come true. Chandrayatri is going very well, so everything is going fine now. Satellite is healthy. A vision will be fulfilled. A nation's resolve will win. India will be over the moon. As Chandrayaan makes history, powered by a billion plus hopes, celebrate all day with Times Now. Well, Chandrayaan 3 is all set for its soft landing on the moon. ISRO has tweeted the latest updates confirming that Chandrayaan 3 is expected to make the landing on August 23rd around 6.04 p.m. In a message, ISRO said that India's pursuit of space exploration has reached a significant step forward. As the soft landing is scheduled for 23rd August, here is more on Chandrayaan 3's journey so far. On July 14th, India collectively held its breath as our lunar mission Chandrayaan-3 was set to take off from Sri Harikota. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 1.3 billion Indians knew what was at stake, having been so close in our previous attempt. Forty days later, it's once again time to unite for a moment that will redefine India as a global superpower. Chandrayaan-3 objectives are different, not for increasing that, uh, launching the satellite. It is a purpose is to demonstrate a new landing technology, at the same time to do the science on the mission, uh, moon in the unexplored regions of the moon. ISRO is just hours away from scripting history as it will be achieving a successful soft landing of Chandrayaan-3 on the moon. The spacecraft is not just packed with scientific ambitions of ISRO, but also sentiments of the entire country. A success in the mission will put India on the map with three other nations, United States, Russia and China. And ISRO has been extensively working on this all-important mission. Even as we wait with prayers on our lips for the mission's success, let's tell you about the objectives of the mission. First up, let's tell you about the tech that's wrapped up in a hard metal frame. The indigenous lander module, propulsion module and rover that form the Chandrayaan-3 are equipped with top-notch technology to achieve this historic feat. The mission aims to land safely on the lunar surface and demonstrate the rover roving on the moon. Chandrayaan-3 mission was originally uh, meant to for the uh, study of the moon. Study of the moon is of, uh, in a very broad sense. Uh, it's about the surface, about the interior and about the atmosphere that is uh, around the moon. On 23rd August takes place in a, a satisfactory manner. You can imagine the whole new world will open before uh, ISRO. One of the main aims, the various countries are headed towards the moon. So obviously, eventually, India also can think in those terms. During its 14-day mission, Chandrayaan-3 will also conduct experiments using its payloads Ramba and ILSA. The lander will photograph rover Pragyan, which will study seismic activity on the moon. The rover will use its laser beams to melt a piece of the lunar surface called regolith. The rover will then analyze the gases emitted in the process for a better understanding of the moon's surface. Moon is a geopolitical milestone and ensuring a soft landing would mean that India will be a contender to take up important space projects like the US, Russia and China. The journey to the moon started from July 14th 
with the launch from Satish Dhawan Space Center in Sri Harikota. It was an onwards journey and the first milestone came on August 5th as the spacecraft successfully entered lunar orbit. Nine days later, Chandrayaan was in the final step to lower the orbit of lander. Vikram boosters fired and the orbit was lowered to 100 kilometers. On August 17th, the lander separated from the propulsion module. Although Chandrayaan 2 uh, failed in the, just the stage of the landing, mm. but the rest of the mission targets were all achieved and the orbiter of Chandrayaan 2 is still successfully working. In fact, it is going to be used as part of the operations in Chandrayaan 3. The soft landing mantra isn't something that was prioritized overnight. Even four years ago, the main objective of Chandrayaan 2 was to execute a soft landing. We completed a distance of 384,000 kilometers from Earth to the Moon, but we could not land due to software glitch. But this time, we are sure to find out space on the Moon. Bureau Report, Times Now. While we wait with bated breath for the success of the mission, it was a heartbreak for Russia ahead of Chandrayaan 3's landing. Russia's ambitious lunar mission was to land in the dark side of the moon, but Luna 25 ended in failure as the spacecraft spun out of control and crashed into the surface of the moon. Russia's space agency had confirmed the heartbreaking end to Russia's first moon mission in about 50 years. The spacecraft encountered a catastrophic failure after a technical glitch and the agency lost all contact with the spacecraft. Well, with that, it's time for a short break here. More continues on the other side.